Okay, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, the different medication calculations that you will uh, run into over the next two uh, years of your nursing program with the medication uh, calculation exam. And so the first one that we're going to go over is uh, we have an order of 7.5 milligrams PO and PO, as you guys are supposed to be memorizing those uh, abbreviations, um, means by mouth. So this is either is a tablet, uh, generally, of a med. And then what's available, meaning is, is what did the pharmacy provide us, um, is 5 milligram tablets. So how many tablets are we going to give to reach that 7.5 milligrams that our doctor has ordered us to give? So the method I'm going to show you is um, uh, dimensional analysis because that's what uh, has always helped me in making sure that the units that I want, I end up with those units. Um, but if you are uh, one to do a ratio, you can always uh, look at the Kaplan videos that um, show you how to do the ratio. So because I'm looking for tablets, I go tablet equals, and I go with what I have available. So one tablet um, is five milligrams, which I got from what the pharmacist gave me. I'm going to multiply it by what I was what was ordered, which is the 7.5 milligrams. And this is where dimensional analysis um, works uh, is, is that when you are putting your units, you always put them across from each other and it crosses them out. And that's how you can make sure that by the end you get the unit that you're looking for. So I have 7.5 milligram and then I just put one in the, uh, as a placeover, a placeholder equals, and so I multiply across and so it's 7.5 over the five. And so I'm gonna divide the 7.5 by five and I get 1.5 tablets. Okay, so my next um, order, this one is for an injectable. So let, this is an intermuscular injection. Uh, so my order, this is what my physician wants me to give, is 0 0.75 milligrams IM, meaning intermuscular, of a med. What my pharmacy has provided to me, which is the available, is 0 0.25 milligrams per milliliter. So in my vial, for every milliliter of solution, I have 0.25 milligrams of the medication. And so what I want to know is how many milliliters am I going to administer to that um, patient. So I go milliliters equals what I have available from the pharmacy. So because I'm looking for milliliters, I put the milliliter on top over the 0 0.25 milligrams. And I'm multiplying it by what was ordered, the uh, 0.75 milligrams um, and the one as a placeholder. So I multiply across, so the one milliliter times uh, 0.75 and I get 0 0.75 over the 0 0.25, which equals three milliliters. So my third problem is an order of Zithromax. 500 milligrams PO, meaning um, it's by mouth. Um, stat means it's um, now. What the pharmacist has brought me is this max of 200 milligrams per five milliliters, meaning for every five milliliters of solution, I have 200, mil uh, 200 milligrams of the Zithromax. So how many milliliters am I gonna give? So once again, I'm looking for milliliters equals I'm going to go with what's available, and uh, since I'm looking for milliliters, I'm going to put the 5 milliliters on top over the 200 uh, milligrams. I'm going to multiply it by my order of the 500 milligrams over 1 as a placeholder. I multiply across the 5 times the 500, which I get um, 2,500, and I multiply the 200 uh, times 1, which is 200, divide 200 into 2,500, and I get 12.5 milliliters. So your next um, problem is a IV rate, and uh, we only have you do uh, IV rate calculations for what you would set the pumps to, which are milliliters per hour. We don't um, do test you guys on drops per minute. So in order of 
3,000 milliliters of D5W, which is a type of IV solution, over 24 hours. The meaning is, is that we're to get all 3,000 milliliters in over that 24 hours. And so what is our rate milliliters per hour would you set the IV pump to? So milliliters per hour equals the 3,000 milliliters that we want over the 24 hours. And we're going to divide the 24 into the 3,000 to get uh, 125 milliliters per hour. Okay. Your next order, and this is an IV piggyback, but what's significant about this one is, is that uh, it's a pediatric dose that we're looking at. And with pediatrics, it, uh, doses are always uh, based off of kilo, uh, their weight in kilograms. And so this is, uh, and a lot of the antibiotics or other medications are usually the pharmacist will give uh, a safe range of uh, uh, where you can um, safely give a child a particular dose. And so our order is an order of gentamicin, 500 milligrams IV piggyback um, every eight hours. So every, every eight hours they would give 50, uh, 50 milligrams for a child that's weighing 40 pounds. The recommended dose for a child is 6 to uh, uh, 7.5 milligrams per kilograms per day um, divided by eight hours. And so we first we are going to have to do is we're going to have to convert the uh, weight. And so the 40 pounds, so for every uh, kilogram equals uh, point, uh, for, yeah, for every kilogram, 2.2 pounds, okay? And so you're going to take the 40 and divide it by the 2.2, and that equals 18.2 kilograms. Okay, so now that we know how many kilograms, we're going to take and figure out what, what would be the total number of milligrams um, for this, uh, for a uh, dose of six milligrams per kilogram per day for this child. All right. So we go milligrams per day. Our lowest in safe range is six milligrams per kilogram times the uh, eighteen point two kilograms that uh, for our child that we're going to medicate, and so we multiply it across. And divided by the kilogram, which you'll get 109.2 milligrams per day. Okay. Well, we need to know how many, how much for um, each eight-hour uh, hours. And so, since there's three doses in that 24 hours, we're going to divide three into the 109.2 milligrams. And so, each dose would be 36.4 milligrams on the low range of. So then we take our highest range, we go milligram over, uh, over uh, per day equals the 7.5 kilograms, multiply it by the 18.2 kilograms, so multiply that across, we get 136.5 milligrams per day. And so just like we did with the lower dose, we're going to mold, uh, divide uh, the 136.5 milligrams by the three doses to get what is the one, uh, the uh, single dose, which is 45.5. So what we're asking is, is this dosage, uh, is the dosage that has been ordered for this child safe? And it was 50 milligrams. And since our safe range is 36.4 milligrams to 45.5 milligrams per dose, this is not a safe dose. And so this is one where we would be calling our doctor. The pharmacist probably has already called the doctor to talk about that, that dosage that was ordered. Um, but the answer is, is this is not a safe, uh, that 50 milligrams is not a safe dose for that child weighing um, 40 pounds. And then another one is heparin. Heparin um, co uh, it comes in um, units. Uh, and so we're going to figure out how many milliliters uh, would we give of this dose of heparin. So we have an order, which is heparin, 500 units um, sub Q. 
um, every four hours. What we have available is heparin uh, 10,000 units per 10 milliliters. So every 10 milliliters of solution is 10,000 units. So milliliters, which is what we're looking for, equals, we're going with what is available, so 10 milliliters over the 10,000 units. We're going to multiply it by the 500 units that uh, we want to uh, administer to the patient over the one as a placeholder. Multiply across the 5,000 um, over the 10,000, divide 10,000 into the 5,000, and you get um, 0 0.5 milliliters, so half a milliliter. And so these are each different med uh, calculations that you will see on your med calculation tests that you will do in Nursing 111 um, and Nursing uh, 221.